Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be aluminum replacement skin kits for Beechcraft Baron 55 and 58 elevators. On the 55 and 58 Baron elevator, the original magnesium elevator skins are constructed from magnesium and are prone to cracking, to corrosion, uh, to mishandling. The SRS aluminum replacement kit alleviates all of these issues associated with magnesium skins. 55 and 58 elevators, uh, the first thing we need to do is to remove the original magnesium skins. You have an upper skin, a lower skin, a leading edge skin. These skins are removed from the structure, of course, by removing the rivets. They also have a stiffening strip inside that is bonded. This needs to be debonded in order to remove the skins from the structure. The internal structure of the elevators, the spar, the ribs, those are aluminum already, so those will be reused in the new elevator project. SRS Aviation has designed a aluminum skin replacement kit for the 55 and 58 elevators. The kit consists of upper and lower skins, leading edge skin, all uh, tabs and fasteners uh, out of aluminum as well, and then they also include a new elevator static balance weight, which is larger to offset the added weight of the aluminum skin, as well as aluminum ribs at the outboard end of the elevator. As you can see, the SRS aluminum skin has additional stiffeners bonded to the underside at the areas where the ribs and the spars will be attached. The Beechcraft magnesium skin does not have those additional stiffeners bonded to the underside of the skin. For comparison's sake, I have a Beechcraft magnesium factory skin here sitting next to an SRS aluminum skin. As you can see, they're similar in construction. The internal honeycomb stiffeners bonded to the underside of both skins in the exact same spots. Uh, similar uh, finish and uh, primer. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the SRS skin is exactly the same as the Beechcraft Magnesium skin in fit and form. Once the elevator structure is installed in the jigging fixture, the new skins can then be reattached to the structure using the Beechcraft service manual for guidance. Uh, the elevator is put back together exactly the same way a standard Beechcraft elevator would be uh, reconstructed. Uh, skins shot back into place using AD rivets instead of the B rivets now that we're at least using an aluminum skin. One thing that SRS does add to the elevators is additional ribs out here at the outboard end of the elevator. This is similar to the very uh, late model P bearings, the P58s, uh, with extra structure out here, again, to help stiffen this. Uh, because of the added lead weight for the static balance. That is one easy way to identify uh, the SRS conversion on these elevators. When closing up the trailing edge of the elevator, it is imperative that the honeycomb stiffening strips underneath the skin are bonded together, upper and lower stiffeners bonded together to ensure that there's no cracking in the skin uh, over time any uh, looseness of that uh, elevator skin will cause cracking at the trailing edge of each of those honeycomb stiffeners that are bonded to the underside of the elevator skin. Once the elevator construction is complete, the elevator can then be put into prime or top coat uh, as needed. It's balanced back to original Beechcraft factory uh, specifications. Uh, SRS Aviation does supply a new data tag for the elevator since it will have a new part number uh, with the conversion kit installed. 